Hi, what would you do if you want someone to help you in managing your YouTube channel? So in this video, I am going to show you how you can add people and give them certain permission to your YouTube channel so that they can help you manage your channel. Now, before I show you how, if you're new to this channel, I'm Ken and I do a lot of content about digital marketing. So if you're interested in this kind of content, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos that I have. And with that, let me jump into my computer and I can show you how you can give permission to people into your YouTube channel. Hi, before I begin, I just want to clarify with you that there's two types of YouTube channel. One is the YouTube channel in your Google account, as you can see here. One Google account have one YouTube channel. Another one is using brand account. Brand account, you can have multiple people managing your brand account and that brand account have a YouTube account, right? And this is also, one of your Google account can manage multiple brand accounts. So there's a few information here you can have a look. I put in the link uh, in the description box below. So feel free to have a look into it so they can understand better, right? And they have a, a video on how to change and remove owners, manager with brand account and also with permissions in YouTube channel. I'll, I'll put in the link description box below. So there's a lot of links description box below for this time, right? But now I'm just going to show you first how to do the personal account, right? The personal Google account, then I'll change you the brand account. So the video you're watching right now is actually our brand account. Uh, but let me just show you the personal account just in case your YouTube channel is a personal account. So you just have to click on the personal account. Uh, I'll put here channel switcher as well so that you can see how many YouTube channel you have, right? So you are in YouTube channel here. Just have to click on the picture on your right. Go to YouTube Studio. Click on settings. Go to permission and click here on invite, right? And you invite, there's a different access. There's manager, editor, editor limited, viewer, viewer limited. It all depends on what kind of uh, objective that you want. So just choose accordingly, put in the email, send, they, they'll receive an email. And then once it approved, they'll be appearing here, right? And they can, depending on the role that you set, then they can, they can manage your YouTube channel accordingly, right? So next, let's look into brand. A brand account YouTube channel is a bit difficult. So you click on the picture here, right? So now I want to help you to distinguish how do you know whether it is brand account or not, right? You first go into the top right picture, click on yourself, click on settings, and then you see there is channel managers here, right? If you do not see this, this line, that means your account is personal Google account. But if you have this line, add or remove manager, that means your YouTube channel is a branded account, right? So you go to add or remove manager. So you see this information, manage permissions. Okay, so uh, this information is there so that to verify that it's you. So let's, let's do the verification. Done. So you go manage permission. And then you can add people in. Just click on here. You can choose a role, whether owner, manager, or communication manager. So I just click here. I'll put in the link at the description box below. You can have it available all the time. You can see there's brand account role and the studio role. So just now I show you when you're in business studio, when you're in YouTube studio, you get to have all these roles to choose, right? But in brand account role, there's primary owner, owner, and manager. I will do some changes here, but you will be able to see why we need to add them into the brand account role first, especially if it's the first time doing it, right? So I already added my another account in as an owner and then I just click done, right? So again, I'll receive an email and then I'll just get in because it's my own account so I can easily get in, right? Next is go to the YouTube channel. Same formula, just click on your, your picture, go to YouTube Studio, go to settings, go to permissions, okay. Now you get to see these two information instead of what we have previously here, right? You get to see different, it's different, right? Uh, this is the difference between the brand account and the normal account. When you're managing it first time, uh, when you try to set the permission first time for a brand account, you will see this information, right? So manage permission was the one that I showed you just now. I put myself in as an, as an owner. So now I want to move the permissions to YouTube Studio instead of just keeping it in a brand brand accounts, right? Because brand account, you have access to more than YouTube channel, you access photos and things like that. Sometimes you just want to keep it within YouTube channel. So you just could move permission, choose a role, manager, I understand. 
invite there and they get to see it here right the moment you have done these steps right then now you can manage it here right you can manage all the permission here this is only for the first time so the first time you need to put it you need to set that you want to manage your permission inside youtube but it does not mean that you cannot do it uh, to go back to managing permission in your brand account you just add all out permissions in the youtube channel duo and then you can still manage the permission in your brand account right so you invite more people now same same process right close so you just have to go to settings permissions invite choose whichever you want to invite go to access go to manager editor editor limited viewer viewer so all this you can read it here as well i'll put in the link description below and after that you can have the person uh, have their role to manage your youtube channel uh, it's a bit difficult uh, there's two ways so depending on your account so i hope this is clear right yep that's it that's how you can put people into your channel with certain permission certain roles to help you manage your youtube channel if you like what i share you find it useful feel free to share this and if you have any questions do feel free to put it in the comment section below and again if you like what i share do subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos and with that thank you so much for watching and i see you in my next video goodbye